Arklamis News Update. Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Maya Holloway with your midday Arklamis update. We've got some new information on the former Monroe City School District Superintendent Brent Vadreen was in court on Wednesday. NBC 10's Joel Massey has more on the case. Brent Vadreen, former Monroe City District Superintendent, made an appearance in court for a scheduled arraignment. It was pushed back to November 4th. No trial date has yet been set. He is accused of submitting false records for the purchase of retirement service. Back in 2023, Vadreen was placed on administrative leave and chose to retire at that time. Following an investigation by the Monroe City School Board, the Louisiana Legislative Auditor's Office, and the Washita Parish Sheriff's Office, he was charged with two felony counts of filing or maintaining false public records, one count of felony theft, and one felony count of malfeasance in office. At the court appearance, the district attorney's office, who is prosecuting the case, announced that there would be some changes to the charges in the original indictment. Evidence from Vadreen's office computer showed that documents were created showing he received a check for a requested amount for retirement prior to his receiving the funds. Another document was created as a letter of proof sent to Monroe City Schools Chief Financial Officer. Vadreen also received a check for more than $67,000 for one year of credible service from the teacher's retirement system. Police discovered the cost of one year of service was less than the listed amount. Vadreen allegedly sent a non-editable copy of the legitimate letter to a school board employee, and five minutes later, he received an editable version of the file in return. After his arrest July 23rd, Vadreen bonded out from a bail set at $22,500. For your Arklamis News Source, I'm Joel Massey. The district attorney's office has released the new list of charges Vadreen is facing. He now faces two counts of filing for maintenance false public records, two counts of malfeasance in office, and one count of unauthorized use of immovable all felonies. We will continue to, to follow this case and bring you updates on air and online at myarchalmist.com. And in a crime alert, the Monroe Police Department needs help locating the man on your screen. Michael Richardson is wanted for burglary. If you have any information on his whereabouts, contact one of the numbers listed on your screen. An armed and dangerous escapee has been taken into custody. Delano Owens was wanted by the Grambling Police Department for an array of charges such as false imprisonment, battery, escape, and more. He, also, he was also wanted by the Washita Parish Sheriff's Office for kidnapping, rape, stalking, and other charges. He was apprehended around 9 this morning. Owens is being held at the Lincoln Parish Detention Center. For a full list of charges, visit us at myarchalmist.com. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. Temperatures are still expected to rebound well above average into the mid and upper 80s. We'll continue to see clear skies and lots of sunshine, but still very warm. And tonight, going to be mostly clear, staying quiet. There might be a chance for a few clouds sneaking in out of the southwest because with the winds returning suddenly, there is a chance to see these dew points rise a little bit more as well. And then through tomorrow, still expecting well above average temperatures into the mid and possibly upper 80s. A few clouds sneaking in out of the northwest as a front does expect to begin to arrive as we go into Saturday through Sunday. And there's a chance we might see a few light patchy showers that could start popping up in South Arkansas. As of now, they do remain minimum, not high, but 10 20 percent chance, but we'll take what we can get. Betting low 58 degrees for tonight, staying quiet, and tomorrow we'll see a few clouds and staying above average in the mid upper 80s. And then over the weekend, there's that chance for some minimum rain chances. Looking like they'll stay isolated mostly north and parts of South Arkansas. Nothing too major, but like I said, we'll take what we can get. Next Monday and Tuesday, we'll be warming back up as the temperatures rebound to the mid 80s and still above average as we go into Halloween next Thursday. There's also another chance we might see some patches showers. Again, similar to the first one on Sunday, nothing too major. It'll stay minimum, but like I said, we'll get what we, get, we can get with these ongoing dry conditions and staying above average in mid-80s through late, uh, late next week. Well, that's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily continues. Have a great day. When you see news happening, call the NBC 10 Fox 14 News Hotline, 812-332-1340.